Good morning, Creekside Otters. This is Mrs. Allison, and today is Monday, October 17th, 2022. What zone are you in this morning? I'm in the green zone. Sometimes when I'm in the green zone, I don't know what to do. If you feel like me sometimes, take a look at this video for some ideas on what you can do when you are feeling in the green zone. This is a picture of the zones of regulation. Today, we're going to be talking about the green zone. If you're feeling happy or calm or ready to learn or play, you might be in the green zone. Have you ever had a day when you wanted to explore the world? Or maybe you felt so glad but didn't even know why? Do you remember being happy because something worked out just how you'd hoped it would? or thankful because you got to spend time with someone important to you. Feeling green can be so nice, but do you want to know a secret? The best part of the color green is that it's contagious. You don't have to keep your feelings all to yourself. When you share your green, you just might help other people feel green too. Maybe you could make a gift for someone. Maybe you could share your favorite snack. Maybe you could be a friend. Maybe you could use your words to help someone feel better. Maybe you could hug a loved one. Can you think of a time when someone shared their green with you? Feeling green is very special, and giving green to other people is very special, too. Remember, if you ever have a question about your feelings, you can always talk to your teacher or ask to meet with a school social worker. I'll see you next time. I hope you were able to get some good ideas on how you can help spread the green zone to others. Did you know that October is Disabilities Awareness Month? Disabilities Awareness Month is where we celebrate and value people's different ways of learning, moving, and experiencing the world. I'm going to read a book to you about how we can see and value all kinds of differences, including our own unique selves. The book I'm going to read to you is called Some Bodies, written by Sophie Kennan. And it's illustrated by Erin O'Callaghan. Callaghan. Our bodies can get us from here to there. When we have big feelings, it's our bodies that share. So bodies are useful, you'll surely find, but they're also unique, one of a kind. Some bodies are short, and some bodies are tall. Some bodies are big, and some bodies are small. Some bodies have two feet. Some bodies have one. Some bodies have freckles. Some bodies have none. Some bodies have dark skin. Some bodies have light. Some bodies have both, and that is quite all right. Some bodies have brown eyes. Some bodies have blue. Some bodies wear glasses. How about you? Some bodies move fast. Some bodies move slow. Some bodies use wheels when they're out on the go. Some people will cover their bodies in clothes. Others like letting a lot of skin show. Some bodies grow hairs that are curly and big. Some people will cover their head with a wig. Some people choose to have their bodies changed. Others prefer to just stay the same. Our bodies can show love and kindness to others, to fathers and friends, to teachers and mothers. All bodies are unique, even if they're alike, because your body is you, and what's not to like? All bodies are good, that's important to know, and yours is good too, 
however you grow. I hope you enjoyed that book. And just a reminder that our bodies come in all different shapes and sizes and colors, and they can do extraordinary things. And to celebrate all those things that make us different and unique. Make it a great day, otters. Good morning, Creekside Otters. For today's mindful moment, we are going to focus on positive self-talk. Positive self-talk is when you say something kind to yourself. It's sort of like giving yourself a compliment. Sometimes it's really easy to be kind and give compliments to others, and we forget how to be kind to ourselves. So today we're going to practice doing some positive self-talk. Some examples of things you might say to yourself are, I am kind. I am a good friend. I am a good listener. I am smart. I am a good student. I am a hard worker. I can do it. Or, I believe in myself. So while we do our mindful moment this morning, I want you to take some time to either say to yourself in your head some compliments and some kind words to yourself. Or if you'd like, you can take a minute to get a piece of paper or maybe a sticky note and a pen or a pencil and write down some positive thoughts that you can say to yourself throughout the week. I'll give you just a moment to gather a pen or a pencil or some sticky notes if you'd like to do that option. Let's go ahead and get our mindful bodies ready. Sit comfortably in your chair with your muscles relaxed and Let's just take a big breath together. Breathe in through your nose and out through your mouth. One more breath together. In through your nose and out through your mouth. And while you continue to breathe at your own pace, Think of those positive thoughts. What are some kind things that you want to say to yourself? Say them to yourself in your head or take the next minute to write down as many as you can think of. I'm going to work on writing a few down for myself. and think of one more positive self-talk or kind statement that you can write down. And let's take one more breath together. When you're ready, come on back. I hope that you were able to think of some kind thoughts and kind words to give to yourself. The things we say to ourselves are powerful and it's important that we take time to be kind to ourselves. One of the statements that I came up with while I was writing was, I can do hard things. And I know you can too, Creekside Otters. 
I hope that you all feel calm and ready to learn and ready to make it a great week. Have a great day, otters. Hey, Creekside Otters. Our Otterthon is going strong. We have raised over $12,311, and it's only Monday. Keep spreading the word to your family and friends so we can keep making Creekside the amazing place that it is. Also, don't forget that we have a Spirit Week this week. Today is Crazy Hair or Hat Day. Tomorrow is Inside Out Day. Wednesday is Comfy Day. Thursday is Dress Like Your Teacher Day. And Friday is Fancy Day. I can't wait to see all your amazing outfits. Hi, my name is Iksha and I am in Ms. Yanev's class. I am going to teach you all about the holiday of Navaratri. Navratri means nine nights because it's a festival that is celebrated for nine nights and it is celebrated in many different ways all over the country. Do you see that beautiful lamp that Kaki is lighting? It's called a Garbo lamp. You light that lamp to pray to Goddess Amba. Some people believe that by lighting that lamp, Goddess Amba will keep them safe from all the evil in the world. You also light the lamp to show that we all have power inside of us. This lamp will stay lit for all nine days. I wonder what Ba is cooking. There are lots of yummy smells and sounds. Crackle, pop. She is taking something which is called dalia, which is broken wheat and she's mixing it up with coconuts and almonds. Do you know what's it called? It's called lapsi. And lapsi is a special dish that you make for Navratri. All the other yummy treats in this picture are chakli, papra and tokla. Do you see everybody dancing around the garbo land? This dance is a special dance that's done during Navratri and it's called Garba and you do it by clapping your hands and going round in a circle. Next they go shopping for some new Navratri clothes. Oh wow, look at everybody dancing at night in a big field. This dance is done with sticks and it's called Dandia. Soon everybody joins in the dance. The click clack click clack sound of the sticks fills up the air. People are twirling and spinning and jumping and laughing. They dance for hours. The nine nights of Navratri are done. But the tenth day is a very special day and it's called Dashera. Do you see someone with ten heads? There is a very special play going on a stage and that's what Maya, Neel and Chinchu are watching. This play is called Ram Leela. Ram Leela play has come to an end and now the statue is being lit up and all the fireworks are filling up the sky. Boom, crack, whoosh. Hope you enjoy my presentation. Make it a great day, otters. Y'all ready for this? <laughs>